Alright, hold on. I haven't done a fanfic reading in a while. I'm kind of nervous. My <laughs> voice, my voice is a little dry. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. In and out. No, I'll do. I'll calm you down with some ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> deep breath. Stop, please. Stop. <laughs> okay, let's read this. I only got like two hours, man. Okay. We have school today, and I'm really excited to meet all the new people, because I just moved here. I just hope there are no bullies and that the teachers are nice. I walked with Jacob to the bus stop, and I saw Lauren and Joey there, too. We walked to them, and Lauren and I hugged each other, and Jacob and Joey gave each other a bro hug. The bus came, and I sat next to Jacob. We got into the school building, and we walked to the principal's office to get my schedule. I had six of the seven hours together with Jacob, and I was really happy about it. We didn't have first class together, but I had that together with Lauren. Jacob walked me to my locker, and that was right beside his. We took our books, and I said <laughs> goodbye and gave him a hug and kiss on the cheek. Lauren was waiting for me, and she said, Oh, so cute, and I... There is some profanity. <laughs> the person who wrote this was probably like 11. Where is your mom? <laughs> and I gave her a, <laughs> girl, shut the heck up. <laughs> then we both laughed. We walked to our fir to out first class and it was really boring, but the teacher was really nice. Get to the lunch. I didn't see Jacob the whole morning because he wasn't in the other classes. I was kind of worried about him. I walked into the cafeteria and I saw a group of kids around the table hitting someone. I walked over and I saw Jacob. He was me and said a soft help. Hey, 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 that's me. <laughs> oh, right. He was me and said, Help. <laughs> <laughs> and then he passed. <coughs> I ran up to him and pushed all the boys around him away. I took Jacob home because it was only three minutes walking instead of just going like three seconds to the office. <laughs> When we got to my house, I called 911 and we went to the hospital. I was scared because I needed to stay in the waiting room. I feel like we've been <laughs> in this situation before. <laughs> I called his mom and she came in as fast as she could. She asked what happened, so I told her everything. Then I asked her a question. <laughs> Did you know he was getting bullied? Yes, she said. But I never known it was going this far. Like, I was the mom, and she was the kid. But I was crying, too, because I couldn't lose him now. The doctor came to us, and he said we could see him if we wanted to. Hey. No. Hey. <laughs> we could see him if if we wanted to. His mom said, You can go first, Rosa. Thank you, I said back. I walked in and started crying even more. I couldn't see my baby like this. I sat next to him and grabbed his hand and I started talking to him. I felt pain. <laughs> I tried to open my eyes, but I couldn't. Then I heard a familiar voice talking. It sounds like Lo Rosa. <laughs> she was talking to me, but I couldn't hear it real good. The last thing she said is, um, I need you, Jacob. If you die, I'm coming after you. I love you. Please don't leave me. Your mom and your family need you too, but I can't live without you. Please stay with me. I know you can. You are a strong boy, and I love you. <laughs> After that, I heard from the way. I'm coming closer. I heard other voices talking. It was my mom. She said, If you leave us now, know that I love you. You need to find a way. I need to find a way to live my life without you if you're leaving us. But I probably can't. I miss you already. And if you wake up, I'm going to put you on online school. Please wake up, honey. I miss you so much. I, uh, I, I saw white light, and I think I saw my dad. But he was dead. And I was six, so I... <laughs> what? <Black twist. laughs> it's crazy. Original. That's really original. So I knew where Shut I was. <laughs> Just hugged me. I hugged back. But it was my dad. I missed him so much. He looked at me and said, You're strong enough to survive this. I wasn't. Go, Jacob. 
go back to your beautiful mom. <laughs> His dad wasn't able to survive the kids at school harassing him. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on you. It runs in keep the family. Keep an eye on your mom. I'll keep an eye on your, on your life. I, after that, I tried to open my eyes. And it worked. I opened my eyes and I saw my mom and Rosa staring at me. And the Lord said, I looked like a panda that just sneezed. <laughs> they hugged each other. <laughs> and then they called the nurse. You can go home today, but we need to test some little things before you go, okay? Okay, I said back. I was finally home and I asked Rosa if she, she if she could stay. I was really hungry so I asked my mom if I could get some Chipotle. Oh dude, I'm really lightheaded right now. <laughs> when she leaves, I looked at Rosa, I kissed her, and it changed into a makeout session. She wrapped her legs around me and I held her tight. We were in my it's getting hot and spicy, Gina. <laughs> we were in my room and I put my put her on my bed and soon enough we were both naked and I started to grind on top of her. <laughs> Whoa! She moaned and screamed. Jessica! Then I said, Are you ready? Look and she nodded. Her Oh, oh I got you in the reading. Her head yes. <laughs> now I was inside her and she kept screaming. Yes! <laughs> I said, who needs to go faster? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Makes me want to kill my... She moaned. After 30 minutes, we both came, <laughs> and I heard the front door. Food! I heard... I, ye <laughs> I yelled and put my clothes back on. I kissed Rosa and said, I love you, babe. I love you... Oh. I'm gonna take a shower. You can go eat your food. She said... I said, okay, see you in a couple minutes. Jacob and I didn't went to school this week. After what happened, we both do online school now. We were in the park while everyone was in school. Then Jacob got a call. Hello? 